hey guys welcome back to another video welcome if you are new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video so for today's video like i mentioned in my last video well speaking of if you haven't seen that video where i unboxed these new patty gels from long hair pretty nails i swatched the colors and basically i just did an honest review on her new poly gels if you haven't seen that i will link it in the card it's also i will put that link down in the description box just in case you guys want to go check that out first but like i mentioned since i did love these poly gels so much i wanted to use the shimmery pink color doing a short set so this is what today's video is gonna be as far as my nails i did go ahead and put on some peel off base coat um and now i'm just going over all of my nails with a base coat and i'm gonna cure this for 30 seconds um since i do have more videos to film just like always i always go in with a peel off method just so that i can pop these off easily once i'm ready to go to the next set for the nails today i'm going to be using the xl square from the attitude shop and i'm just going to go ahead and pick out my sizes for each little baggie i did write on them like what finger i used them on so that way it's a lot easier and that way i don't have to like keep checking so i'm just going to go ahead and lay them out To glue on these nail tips, I'm going to be using the Kid Yes Nail Glue, which works really good. I will have everything that I use linked down below. It took me a while to glue on these nail tips, but with the power of editing, it only took me a few seconds. So now that I have them glued on and they're sturdy, I'm going to go ahead and cut them down using my nail tip cutter. And I'm going to cut them down short. Like I mentioned, I'm going to be doing a short set. So for the people who like the longer nails, just sit back a little bit. And the people who love the short nails, get a front row seat because this is going to be a video for you. Um, I do make sure to check the length of these um, and, and just make sure they're all the same length. Once I have them cut down to the length that I like, I'm going to take a sanding band and my nail drill and I'm just going to be removing the shine from all of the nail tips and also blending the nails in with my natural nail. As I'm removing the dust, I'm just thinking, wow, these are so short to me. But I do like these because I feel like I can pull off a short square. But like anything else, like the coffin or just basically anything else in this length that tapers in too narrow, I feel like they look weird on my hand, which is why I'm never 100% comfortable when doing those types of nails. I just feel like they look super weird on me. But now that I removed the dust, I also went in with some alcohol and a lint-free wipe just to further remove any of the dust on the nail bed. And now I'm taking a base coat from a car and I'm just going to do a layer of this base coat over the nail tip and also my natural nail. I 
So I went ahead and cured on that base coat for about 30 seconds and now we can go ahead and start the application. So I'm going to be using that really pretty shimmery pink in the shade So Cute. And today I'm going to be doing the overlay method. Um, I also thought this would give me like another chance to just kind of like get more in depth with the review because doing the Femi Beauty method you're just filling in the nail tip and you know you're not really sculpting. And doing the overlay method you have to like smooth it out yourself and I just wanted to see how it would work. And honestly just as I expected it still works the same, it's super nice quality. I love the consistency, um, I didn't have any trouble moving this poly gel around. It was super easy and especially with these shorter nails it was definitely easy like way easier than doing the long nails because with the longer nails you would have to add so much more poly gel but the poly gel is super nice consistency um to me it kind of felt more on the um stiffer side this go around i also had this like sitting out so it was a little bit like colder in my room so maybe that has something to do with it but either way it's just still nice consistency the poly gel stays exactly where you want it which is why i love this stiffer poly gel i don't really like the poly gels that flood the cuticle like with you turning your hands trying to get like all of these different sides and trying to perfect each angle sometimes the poly gel can like run over the nail run over the sidewalls it's just so many things that could happen so for this poly gel it was super easy to work with like i'm doing now i'm just taking in my sides so that the filing process can go a lot more smoother and keep in mind this entire process of me doing my pinky finger is in real time and i am done with that nail like it literally took me no time at all and the nail turned out really smooth like i was really loving this nail set just by the first nail so I'm just going to go ahead and cure that for 30 seconds and I skipped my ring nail just because I'm going to be doing, I'm going to make that my accent nail. So I skipped the ring finger and I'm moving on to my middle finger. I'm going to be doing the same color on each of the other nails, my index and my thumb. And for each process, it was the same exact thing. So I'm not going to be doing a lot of talking in today's video. Like I mentioned, um, if you want to see my review video for my first time in the unboxing of these new long hair pretty nails patty gel i will leave that video down below and also in the cards so please make sure to go check that out unfortunately if you were interested in purchasing these patty gels from long hair pretty nails they are already sold out on her website so you will have to wait till the restock in order to purchase these but i will leave the link for her website once again down in my description box so for this part when i was editing the video as you can see now i'm on my middle finger right and like i was just watching it back to like see like what parts i wanted to put in and it jumped to my index finger and when i was editing i was just like i know i had one more finger to go before i get to my thumb and i was just like i was so confused on how that happened but i think i deleted those clips but i wasn't too bummed about it because like i said these are the same exact steps for each nail so it just kind of skipped to like, you know, a different nail doing the same exact thing. Then also, I wanted to mention that for my middle finger, I did have to add one more bead on top of the first layer. And I didn't get that on camera, but I did love how the poly gel just melted into that cured layer. With poly gels, sometimes I do notice when you're adding a second layer to it, when you're trying to blend it out, even though you're blending it out so good, sometimes you can see where the first layer stops and the other one starts. So I really loved how this one just blended in so nicely and unfortunately I didn't get that on camera or either I deleted it along with the other clips but it was so nice to see that these blend in super nice. But yeah, now I'm working on the thumb and since I am doing a shorter set I'm not going to work on building too much of an apex because you don't want the nails especially with shorter nails you don't want that part of the nails to be like super thick in that area because they will look very weird but as you can see I do turn my hand to the side just to smooth out that surface and then before I even cured I do make sure to get around the cuticle area and just take in my side so that the filing process is a lot easier so I've done all of my fingers that I'm going to use the pink color on and now I'm just going to go ahead and put that up. For my ring finger I'm going to use this opal color from Rosalind and it is such a pretty milky white. And just like all of the other nails I'm just going to be putting a bead down the nail and just forming and sculpting that into the nail. And since I've been talking this whole time even though I said I wasn't going to talk too much in this video I'm just going to go ahead and let this part play out. And just in case you're interested, I will have this also linked down in the description box.
I'm really loving how fast it's taking me to get through these nails. Like this is my last nail and it didn't take me long at all. So I'm going to go ahead once I finish shaping in the sides. I went ahead and cured that for 30 seconds and this is how the nails are looking. They are so short but I absolutely love these. Like don't get me wrong I do love my long nails but I am loving these. Like these are definitely giving. I cannot believe I've been sleeping on the shorter nails. Like I am really really loving these. So I'm going to go into my filing but before I do my filing I'm going to take some ice purple alcohol and a lint free wipe to just cleanse the nails. Even though I am wiping these down I did get a little bit of clogging onto my nail file and you will see that as I'm filing my nails. And so for this part if I remember correctly I'm pretty sure long hair pretty nails didn't encapsulate the pinks that she used like she didn't encapsulate the nails i believe she said the only one that you would have to encapsulate is the um clear with the holographic mylar flakes because if you file over that one the flakes can become like very textured and bumpy so i just went for it i just went ahead and started shaping and filing so just like you saw i started by shaping in my sides and it kind of helps if you tuck on the skin downwards so that you can get close to those side walls just to make sure everything is all nice and flushed. I get underneath the nail as well and then I go over the surface, of course the free edge. And then also since these are poly gel nails, I didn't use my nail drill at all. I didn't even reach for my e-file. Using this 8080 grit nail file was all I needed for these nails. And I also do go around the cuticle area a little bit for these nails which worked very nice because my application was pretty decent like it was a pretty good application so here's how the finished thumb looks and here's the side view it looks pretty nice a good thickness and this is my favorite part to look at the nails like this part is just like heaven like this part is just so satisfying to see so now i'm just going to go ahead and repeat that filing process over all of the nails so since these nails aren't taking me long at all i did want this video to be more of like a real time like like in time video because i know a lot of you guys always love the real time videos and not so sped up and since I did show me filing my thumb in real time, I wasn't sure if I was going to add in the rest of the filing, but it didn't take me long to file at all. After sitting down and thinking, I decided to just go ahead and put in the filing, but as you can see, I sped it up quite a bit. But I think it was so satisfying to see like the sped up part of me filing just to see like how these nails just come in shape so nicely. I just talked through half of it. Um, it's only going to play for about a minute and seven seconds, I believe. So as I'm finishing up, I'm just going to let this part play out. So here's how the nails are looking all shaped up. Now I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the dust, but I'm not done like filing yet. Well, I'm done filing, but now I'm just going to go ahead and buff over the surface of the nails to remove any of the scratches and so that the nails are smooth. So here's how the nails are looking. I did go ahead and wash my hands just because I feel like the lint free wipe and the alcohol wouldn't remove the dust like thoroughly. So I just went ahead and washed my hands and I am loving these so much. Like I can't believe I've been sleeping on the shorter nails. Like it's so simple but I literally could have just left them just like this. But of course to me I had to add some charms. So I'm going to go in with these um, charms that came in the Your Nail Lab box for the month of February. And I'm going to go in with either the pink or the iridescent clear ones beside it like either color would have looked very nice but since i do have pink nails i wanted to put the charm on the pink nail and i felt like it would match so nicely with the other pink nails so i'm gonna go ahead and add a top coat the top coat i'm using is the gloss it from not polish i will have a link down below and since i did file over the pink nails without encapsulating they do have a little bit of like a glittery shimmery 
glitter in them. I was a little worried that you wouldn't be able to see the glitters or anything. I just was hoping that I didn't foul off the glitters and I didn't foul off the glitters. You can still see them even though in this lighting you can't really see them that much. But you can see the glitters and they are just so pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and add the top coat to all of the nails. Now that I have the top coat cured, I'm going to be using my McCart rhinestone glue to glue on the nail charm. And I don't know why squeezing this tube is so hard, but I always have trouble since I open this. And like it's just so hard to get out, but I put a little drop on my ring finger since I'm going to be adding this charm. And this little heart charm is just so cute. Like it was so pretty. It reminds me of like a little peach. It was so adorable. And it went so perfectly with the poly gels. Like it was literally the same exact shade. So I went ahead and cured that for 30 seconds and now I'm pulling out these rhinestones. I had a choice for clear or AB crystals and I wasn't sure which one to go with. Um, after thinking, I did just end up going with the clear and I'm putting one little rhinestone at the cuticle area. If these nails were a little bit longer, I probably would have did a little bit more bling. But since they are short, I wanted to keep it short and simple. Um, I'm only going to be doing one little rhinestone at the cuticle area. Like I said, once I finish getting all of them on the pink nails, I'm going to cure in the light. When you see the cuticle oil come out, you know you're only a few seconds away from seeing what the finished nail set looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my cuticle oil. And here we are for the finished set. Um, I absolutely love how these nails turned out. They are super gorgeous. And when I finished these nails and I was just looking at them and I was like the whole time I was just telling myself I can't believe I've been sleeping on those shorter nails. Like I just love them so much. Like don't get me wrong like I mentioned before I do love my longer nails just because all of the space you have to be creative. But I absolutely love these nails. So simple and so cute. If you are interested in checking out the original review video for these patty gels from Long Hair Pretty Nails, I will have that video linked down below. And here's a clip of them in the sunlight. You can see those glitters shining a little bit more. Not like you can in person, but I did try to get as close as possible so you guys can see them. And comment down below. I will be doing a lot more shorter sets just because how this one turned out. But as always, leave your comments down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.